Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again to yet another episode of Mr. J's Reaction and thank you for tuning into the channel, man. Hey, it's always a joyful thing to see you to stop by and check out what we have to say. If this is your first time coming through, man, they call me Mr. J and on this platform, yes, on Mr. J's Reaction, we are probably marveling, you feel me? We are all marveling on this platform. So, this vlog, um... I wanted to talk about uh, uh, the recent situation that is unfolding in Nigeria between a very dark man and Bob Brisky and EFCC and the penitentiary system. We are going to talk about it, but before we do that, please, if you've not done it yet, think about being part of the family. Feel me? Think about joining, man. YouTube keeps telling me that you watch, but you don't join. I hope everything is okay. So let's not talk too much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um... I have been following and I've been reading some of your comments and your requests asking me to to talk about the whole Bob Risky and very dogman situation happening in Nigeria today. And uh, you know when 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 the whole thing unfolded, uh, which is started by somebody reached out to a very dogman uh, to try to get his money from this from this man in Nigeria, man, Mr. Idris. Okuneye and um, they call him Bob Brisky and uh, we all know that he's a, he's a pulverizing figure in that society and I just kept watching because uh, normally you know we've, we've been following very dog man I've been following very dog man and I appreciate and I want to congratulate this man for all he's doing man what this man is doing in the Nigerian society ladies and gentlemen future to come you guys will understand the role of this man's life in that society this man is a blessing so this guy came out and you know you know he called out mr idris okune and uh, he told him look uh you borrowed money from this person uh, four million naira and you didn't pay back and this man helped you when you were actually down and you had to pay back but because we all know this Mr. Idris Okunde was, you know, he feels like he's bigger than life, and uh, um, and I'm going to blame the Nigerian people. Man, you guys have given uh, importance to this to this young man in such a way that it is really, really is. Let me just say it, it, it's 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 not necessary. So this guy went back, you know, you guys know the whole story. He went back trying to to blackmail the other guy, and then very dog man came out with the with the nitty gritty and with an audio which just went poof i heard that audio and uh he pointed fingers at a couple of people files and his father you are, you guys know files man the, the 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 dope nigerian artist rapper and then the way this whole thing started going and i had to start talking about it but i was like you know what I want to see some action. I want to see the outcome. I want to see what this whole thing, how it's going to play out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are late to the party, man, this man, he goes by the name Idris Okuneye, he was arrested. He had some legal issues a couple of months ago, and he was charged by this EFCC, man. This is an organization that was put in place to fight against cyber crime and everything online. And uh, this guy was supposed to be going down for money laundry. And if you see when he was arrested, man, he had, you know, the placa and everything. It stated that money laundry was one of those crimes they are charging him for. And as per the audio, it turns out that this man, they took out that money laundry, which was kind of like, a grave crime and then we all learned that this guy didn't actually go to prison this man was man he was given all the necessary accommodation and you scratch your head and you ask but why would people at the top why would top politicians go to the extra length to ensure that this human being this guy Idris Okunaye gets preferential treatments whereas we've had a whole lot of activists people that protested against the bad governance the NSARS they ended up in state penitentiaries so that's where the whole situation started the question started being asked of course you know how social media is nowadays uh, this agitated everybody in Nigeria and then 
we started seeing some actions. The EFCC started manipulating, they started acting. They called for this man to show up and let them get into the nitty gritty of all this, you know, because Mr. Idris claimed that he paid 50 million to have uh, the money laundry charges dropped. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to play the audio, but you guys already know. I'm just trying to get you, uh, trying to get you caught up to the whole situation. Of course, if you've been watching Mr. J, you've been watching uh, social media, especially YouTube from Nigeria recently, you will see this, man. And uh, this is what we call the miscarriage of justice in Africa. And it goes to show that um, there's always that discrimination between the halves and the halves not in Africa. This is not a Nigerian thing. It is occurring in Kenya, it is occurring in Cameroon, it is occurring in Ghana, it is occurring in South Africa. It is just what it is. The more money you have, man, lady justice can actually take off that blindfold and sway towards your direction. But this is the beauty about this whole thing that is occurring. Man, very dark, man. Yeah, I will call them like a whistleblower, but you know, out in the West, whistleblowers, they don't come out and show their face. But this man is, let me just say this, Nigeria, you guys need to protect this brother. I understand that uh, somebody posted something online about his address and so on and so forth. But this man, sooner or later, politicians will make this man uh, their best friend. Just keep watching. And I hope that he will stand still. Steady and firm on his principle, uncorrupted. You feel me? But as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sure that Idris Okunye is regretting everything he did. Rather than just calling this guy and giving him his money, all of this whole thing started, this drama started just because this man thought, oh, I have a godfather in higher places, so I'm not supposed to pay back. Let's go back a couple of weeks ago. A whole lot of celebrities donated money to this guy to the tune of over 100 million. Now, we all know that these things are all lies. And if you paid attention to Shane Kuti's vlog, there's a whole lot of things that that man exposed about artists and this whole money laundry thing that is going on in Nigeria. You know, you, you, an artist who would, would do a show for, let's say, 500K, 500,000 Naira, but he would claim that he did it for 100 million or 50 million Naira. And then, of course, we all know the laundry that's going on in the background. I just, this is, I just want to say this. I want you to leave a comment and let me know exactly. Do you think that very dark man is, is an important part of the Nigerian society? And do you think that this man is doing more than the politicians are supposed to be doing in Nigeria? Leave a comment and I will see you in the next vlog. Do not forget. I hope you did follow me. Hey, I'm going to see you in the next vlog. Stay blessed. Peace.